Hey there everybody, that's it here bringing you a uh, VGC doubles battle that I played a couple days after the VGC and I thought it was a pretty cool battle against a pretty good team so I thought I might as well upload it. My team's going to be Vivillon, Kangaskhan, Garchomp, Scizor versus Rotom Wash, Mega Mawile, Meowstic, and Smeargle. So let's just start the battle up. Uh, I don't remember if it's long or... I wouldn't really call it long, but it's just a good, clean battle. So his name's Ben, I played him on the GBU Wi-Fi ladder. And he's going to be leading off with Smurgle and Meowstic. So obviously there's a couple things going to happen here. Meowstic, Prankster user, and Smurgle's either going to be Sash or Scarfing one for Dark Void. So what I do just to completely lock it down is I'm going to Mega Ball with my Mega Kangaskhan. And I'm going to go for a Fake Out and a Sleep Putter on that Smurgle. I do not want any Dark Voids coming off this game. So I hit the Fake Out. And it's seriously going to almost kill him. <laughs> like, that does about 60-70% to 70 right there. He goes for the Thunder Wave with his Meowstic. The reason why I went for both Fake Out and Sleep Powder was so he uh, wouldn't... Like, Meowstic can learn Fake Out, so I just wanted to avoid that at all costs. I didn't want to make my Kangaskhan get Fake Outed by his Meowstic or his... I, I just wanted to take every precaution possible to make sure that Smurgle didn't do shit this turn. And another way you can really beat teams like this is pretty much ignoring the Meowsticks because they're not really that important. They don't really do damage. So I switched to my Garchomp. Just to start uh, trying to set up, you know, he pops a safeguard with his Meowstic, Meowstic again. You can really just ignore those guys. And his Smeargle wakes up after one turn. Look how unlucky I am. Um, he's going to use the Dark Void. It's going to hit my Garchomp. And uh, my Kangaskhan's paralyzed. So kind of good thing that I'm paralyzed, I guess. But uh, it's fine. It sucks my Garchomp got uh, sorry, put to sleep. But I do get to finish off the Smeargle with a Power Punch. So it was kind of good thing I got paralyzed last turn. And I'm hanging on a plus one with my Kangaskhan, but in all reality, I'm still in a kind of bad spot. He's going to send out his Mawile here, got off a really nice Intimidate, lowering my Garchomp and Kangaskhan by minus one. And it really sucks that that happened, because then my Power Punch is gone, and my thing that can kill the Mawile is asleep. So he's going to evolve into Mega Mawile, of course he's going to evolve into Mega Mawile. And the Ma sorry, the, the Meowstic is going to pop a Swagger on the Mawile. So the common combo here is you safeguard the turn before, and then you can Swagger your teammate as many times as possible. They get the plus two attack, but they don't get confused because of the Swagger. So it's a really good combo. You see it a lot on ladder. He goes for the play rough on my Kangaskhan. Remember, he's going to be fast to me because I'm paralyzed. I probably could have tried to go for like a YOLO Sucker Punch, but it, yeah, I'd rather take the risk of him missing the play rough. <laughs> So I send in my Scizor, he goes for the Thunder Wave, the Priority Thunder Wave with his Meowstic. I have a Lumberry, so I'm fine with that. It really doesn't matter. And Garchomp is obviously going to sleep for days. And Scizor pops a Swords Dance, and I was really just doing this to block a potential Sucker Punch. Also, you pretty much need the Swords Dance to kill things like Mawile. Now he goes for the player from my Garchomp. Now he's not going to take rough skin damage because this is, this is a Sand Veil Garchomp. And there's nothing I could do. It really sucked that I was uh, put to sleep. So Vivalon comes back out. Time to start making some sleep of my own. And luckily he misses that player off. If you didn't see, he missed the player from my Vivalon. I have a Sash, so that was fine anyways. Alright, so you see him go for the uh, the Sucker Punch. And it's really just not going to work because Sucker Punch fails if it's used after a move that already worked. Like Bullet Punch. So the moves were kind of awkward there. But pretty much I baited him into using the Sucker Punch. Knowing that if I use Bullet Punch, since I'm faster than he is, it would make it fail. I end up getting a kill on his Meowstic, and he sends out his Rotom. His Mawile pops Protect. I, I take the bait and go for the Bullet Punch. And I use Sleep Powder here, because I didn't remember how many turns he had left on his, uh, on his Safeguard. So that was my bad. But now he's no longer safe from Safeguard, and I can use all the beautiful Sleep Powders I want. I go for the um, Sleep Powder on the Mawile, just to make it completely useless. And Rotom's going to pop a Hydro Pump on my Vivillon. Sorry, not my Vivillon, my Scizor. But, like, in all reality, it's not going to do any damage. It's not going to do enough. He does have Reflect Up, but I am hanging out at plus two. So it's not like he's really still in a good spot. I get another Sleep Powder off, this time on his Rotom. And, yeah, that's pretty much going to be all she wrote for this guy. He's not going to be able to deal with both of his things being asleep against my super powerful bug team of Scizor Vivillon. I get another Swords Dance off just for the BM, just because I was feeling it. I didn't feel there was a way I could lose here. His model does wake up and goes for the player up on my Vivillon, but like I said earlier, I have a Sash, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to kill it with the Bullet Punch. Now, all he has left is Rotom, 
and Rotom's pretty much just gonna go down to this bug buzz. I don't remember if it crits. It'd be kind of funny if it did. Uh, no, it didn't crit. So, that was the battle I played against some guy in ladder that had a really good team. I think his team would have benefited a lot more from a Trick Room and playing, like, if Meowstic, or in tr if he had Trick Room on it and went for the Dark Void and then used, like, another slow thing instead of the Rotom, maybe, like, like a Rhyperior or something, I think it would have been a lot better team, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the battle, and I'll see you guys next time.